Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on how to use OpenSim Creations. Let's assume you made something amazing in OpenSim, like a like a maze. And because you don't want to be the only person in the world using your amazing maze, you decide to share the maze. To do so, you need to first export the maze to your hard disk drive by linking all the parts. And clicking on and then using a viewer that can export stuff um, for example Imprudence is recommended you right click it click on more more export and then you go and create a folder wherein you save the object as an XML file After that, you go to OpenSimCreations.com where you first need to register to create an account. You click on the register link and then you have to enter some credentials. Your username has to be only lowercase and just one word. Let's call this Amazer. The email address is required and you need a password. This one will be your display name, it is also a required field. And all the rest here is optional, you can add additional information about them yourself. And you click on complete sign up, which creates your account. You will need to activate the account with an email that you just got in your email. You click on the link which will activate your account. Now you can log in with your username and the password. post your creation you have to go to your dashboard where you can uh, add a new post, manage your posts or manage your comments. We click on add new post and you need to give the post a title. First you will have to you will need a good picture of your creation that will show in the grid overview and in the entry list. So let's go back to your viewer and take a snapshot. It is um, recommended to make a square snapshot. To do so you click in the snapshot preview on the more button and then change the window size to 512 by 512 pixels which will automatically crop it to a square picture. We'll have to refresh the snapshot and then save it. Um, now you click into your post into the entry field and with this icon you can add an image. Click in it. You will have to select the file in your computer on your hard disk drive. open it, then it will upload and will show you a preview. The preview has several fields you can fill out but they are not required. What is necessary is to use this as a featured image so it will show in the 
overview on the website. So we click on Users fe fe Featured Image and then Insert into Post. Below the image, we will have to add a download to your file. So you click the Add Download icon, which is the, the downward arrow icon. Then you select the file from your hard drive. Um, backup, Build, Maze. And since this, there are several files, you will have to make a zipped archive of them first. So let's go to our finder and make an archive. And you select the archive, open it, you give it a title. And optionally, you can create a category for this download. Let's make a add new category building. And then you click on Save New Download, which will upload your creation and then insert it into Pose using the default format. Yeah, it's just one and the download, which is the same. So you click on Insert into Post, which will give you this short uh, tag, means download it. This is where the download link will appear later in the text. Below that, you can add additional information about your creation. For example, who built it, um, what viewer you, you need to import it, links to your shop, to your website, anything that is important or related to this creation. Then you will have to choose a license for this creation. While we ask you to use Creative Commons license, there are actually any kind of license you can use. Um, some of them are already pre pre-configured below the post. If you want to make a custom license, you have to include it into the post text or link to it. I will use a Creative Commons license, so I click on Some Rights Reserved and then specify what people can do with it. They can use it for commercial use and can make modifications. Finally, you have to choose a category that your creation will appear in. So from the category um, menu, you choose the one or the ones that will um, fit to your creation. Let's post this into buildings. Finally, you can add more tags to your creation, which you can either choose from the already pre-existing um, most used tags like freebies, open simulator, open sim, second life, xml, let's call this a maze, to add a new tag. You can choose that it's automatically be twittered by the open sim creations Twitter account. If you want it to be shown in the slideshow, you can click this. Here is your featured image. And when you're done with that, you click on Publish. And then your post has been published. When you now go to the website of OpenSim Creations, because we clicked on Add to Slideshow, it will show in the slideshow on the top, not in the latest entries. If you want it to be shown in the latest entries, you do not check the slideshow. That's all, all you need to, to do to add your creations to OpenSimCreations.com. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope we will see your creations and your amazing maze soon. Thank you for listening and watching. This is we of OpenSim Creations. Done.